Hey everyone, what's going on? This is Eddie and today we're going to talk about the MBE, the multi-state bar exam and how not to feel drowsy, how not to go to sleep when you're taking these exams because it does happen. So you want to avoid that. So this is a question from a viewer. If you have any questions, just go to uh, jurisbar.com and send me a message. I do check those messages. So that's the best way to get a hold of me and I may make a video of that okay so here's what's happening okay when you're taking these exams and you start drifting up okay first first let me stop remember when you guys were in grad school and you might have had a, a reading assignment and you start reading and then maybe you get to the third page and then you start like dozing off and you, you catch yourself and you're like oh my god what did i just read so you got to go back and then you're like okay i remember reading this but what happens when that when that occurs is this that sometimes you come across a word or a sentence or some kind of concept and you kind of did not grasp that but you kept going anyway and then slowly okay you get the, that chain reaction and that snowball effect and next thing you know you're like oh my god you're like thinking about something else so that happens as well when you're taking the the mbe uh, the mbe so here's what's happening okay so you might have you might have not just understood the elements to to the issue and because you did not understand and then your mind starts drifting elsewhere so you want to avoid that you want to recognize it you want to say hey okay i've seen this before this i've seen this issue and i i, I am familiar with at least one of the elements but I don't, I don't know the rest i'm not sure all right so notice how you're catching yourself you're saying okay i know this element okay and it's part of this rule and it's part of this issue it's part of this subject all right so you're aware of that because a lot of times people might start reading something and then they get confused okay i'm in i'm doing a contracts question but it's actually a remedies question okay so the person there is not is is, is is not focused on the elements that's why they're now drifting away so i do want you to be conscious of that so i don't i don't even want you to go into the drowsy zone i want you to avoid that and say okay i don't understand now when you come across a question that you're not sure of what the answer is you're not sure of the elements okay there's usually two two options you can take the first option is that you can say okay i'm gonna figure this out and you can spend two minutes three minutes and i'm sure it happens a lot okay or you could say hey i'm not sure what the element is let me do my best let me answer it and then move on and then come back to it remember your your best source when studying for the bar exam is is time and energy so when you want to use that wisely so you are going to come back and you're going to, you are going to focus on that on that particular question and next time you see it you're going to be like okay cool i know the answer so and another thing that i want you to do is this i want you to start eliminating anxiety now when you go take the bar exam there's going to be a lot of people there there's going to be traffic there's going to be people that are nervous and you yourself might be a bit anxious so i want you to start thinking about that and start eliminating it so when you simulate the three hour mbe portion i want you to go somewhere maybe to a cafe maybe to a library where there's people that you do not know and yeah simulate the exam time yourself and take notice of when you have to use the restroom if you have to use the restroom at all and uh, that way, okay, you start being more in control. So by the time you, you go, you sit for the exam, you're more in control because you've already done that before. So I hope this helps. And I know everyone is studying very hard. And I wish everyone the best. Until soon.